Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? I hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another What's New in Transformers. Yay! Man, before we talk about some new stuff coming out, I don't have it in hand. I just like to talk about it, you know, get a little get a little something something and everything. So grab your favorite beverage, grab some popcorn or your favorite snack and everything, and just sit back and relax. And let's talk about some new Transformers. Mm, mm, mm. Can't wait. All right. And up first, as always, add on kiss, add on kiss, add on kiss for days. And we got a couple things. And up first is Matrix Workshop M 47s. We got a new weapons kit for Kingdom Core Class Optimus Prime. So he gets a gun, which is more G1 lookish, you know. And then we have his axe, that battle axe he had that one episode. And seems like he always has to come with that battle axe. I don't know why, but. Looks pretty good. Matrix Workshop does a really good job on some stuff. So if you need a you know more G1 realistic uh, looking gun and a new axe for uh, the Core Class Optimus Prime from Kingdom, hey, they got you covered. Matrix Workshop M-47 Weapon Kit for Optimus Prime. All right, all right, all right. All right, then up next we have Fun Bee Studios, and they're giving us a Quintesson Pit of Judgment. Uh, this one took a little while to get done, but this is a cyber based version of the Quintesson Pit of Judgment for the, uh, you know, the, you know, Quintesson and everything. Uh, this says built, among, uh, built upon the standard cyber based core set prices or pieces, and then comes complete with a lower pit of House of Sharktacons, a plank for the innocent prisoner, and a judge pedestal for the, uh, you know, the verdict to, uh, you know make his verdict and everything so looks pretty good you know really uh, you know looks more realistic to the movie and everything so really like that and everything so uh fun b studios does some pretty cool stuff i haven't got anything from them but uh what i've seen from them they look pretty neat and everything so yeah fun b studios is giving us a quintesson pit of judgment and uh, if you want to get it go to fun b studios i guess all right <laughs> Well, all right, folks, that's all we have for add-on kits. Let's move on to one of my favorite things. And, man, we got a lot of stuff in Legends news. And up first is going to be McFans Toys Crocodile. This is their Skull Cruncher. A lot of people call him Watermelon uh, watermelon Crocodile but because eh, he got, you know, looks like a watermelon color and everything. But, anyways, this is the Headmaster uh, Skull Cruncher, and looks pretty good. You know, like I said, I haven't got any of these, and I saw, I've, I've said on a couple when I was going to get a couple and see how they are. Um, but you know, Skull Cruncher looks pretty good. I like them both modes and everything. Comes with a, a gun, his little tail whip and everything. So looks pretty neat. So yeah, this is the new McFans toys. Uh, Mc, McFan Hobby, McFan something. I don't know. They change their name every other week. So yeah, this is going to be their Skull Cruncher. And this is a uh, Crocodile from uh, McFan's Toys. All right. Good stuff. Also from McFans Toys, we're getting the Alligator Con. This is the Commander. This is the when you know Optimus Prime turned into an alligator in that one episode. I think it's pretty cool, uh, you, you know, use of this mold. Uh, it's Optimus Prime, and he's the crocodile. He's got the red, white, you know, the red and blue. It's like silver. Looks good. He has the tail whip, is you know, just like the uh, Skull Cruncher does. So yeah, I think it's a great use of the mold, and why not use it? So this is VS-05B Commander. Uh, it's a limited edition, so pretty cool. If you uh, try to get it, you know, definitely uh, hit up some uh, pre-orders and get this thing from them. All right, this is Mech Fans Toys Commander Optimus Prime as an alligator. All right, and up next for Mech Fans Toys again, we got some Voice Wizard. This is also known as Twin Cast or Billy, and he comes with a little ram horn, and this is just a repaint of their blaster. And, you know, once again, looks pretty good not too bad uh, so if you want a new um legends class uh you know twin cast here you go man mech fans toys got you covered they always got you covered all right let's go on <laughs> this is a twin cast or billy or this is also known as voice wizard mech fans toys got a gun with him all right then we got one thing coming out from iron factory this is their tyrant's wings uh hectolite uh they're i don't know it's uh, limited to 1500 uh, I thought they, you know, they've made a lot of uh, recolors of this mold already, uh, but we do got some more coming. I think we got another green one coming and some other ones, but yeah, this is kind of a, it looks like an electric, electricity, you know, in the blue sky or something. It looks really, really nice. I'll get it. It's a great mold and everything, but uh, this might be Iron Storm or something. I don't know for sure, but yeah, this is new from Iron Factory. This is their Tyrant Wings Hectolite, and like I said, it's only 1500 made, and uh, looks pretty good. I think it's fixing to come out uh, real soon, so... Yeah, get ready for some more uh, Seekers from Iron Factory. Golly, they had like 13 already. This is another one. Oh, man, they always get you with these uh, recolors. All right, Iron Factory. And then we have some new stuff from New Age Toys. And, man, I'm excited for some of this stuff. Well, actually, all of it because, oh, man, 
man, they make such a good product. So we got H3EX Harry. This is their Prowl. This is the metallic version. So it's been a while that uh, that mold's been out for you know quite a while, but now they're getting a new me metallic version. You know, but you know, metallic paint and everything looks really shiny. Looks really good. Um, hope they fix the tolerances for the legs and feet and everything because that's really the only issues I had with him. Uh, it's a really good mold. Uh, but yeah, this is the H3EX Harry. This is the metallic version of Prowl. And then you know they got to do a clear version because they've done a clear version for every other one. So we got H3T Harry. This is the clear version of uh, G1 Prowl. And you know I love some clear transformers. You follow my channel. Mm -mm. Mm, so lickable. Definitely getting this one. So it looks really good. Kind of a smoky gray looking thing going on, but really, really liking that uh, color and that, you know, the choices and everything. So very nicely done. This is the H3T. This is hairy, but this is the clear version for G1 Prowl. Mm, mm, mm. Good stuff. And then, man, we got some recolors and retools of this mode. So on the last What's New, we had a new Galvatron from them, and it looks great. Now we got tons and tons of repaints. So this is H23EX Darius. This is the metallic version. It includes three pairs of hands, three faces, and a planet shell to recreate the Grand Galvatron from the scene in the G1 uh, Japanese Headmaster cartoon. So if you, if you, oh my God, I can't believe they did this. That's awesome, but it's kind of weird looking. But yeah, if you had that, remember that one scene from the Headmaster, so he was a big old planet. Now you can attach the planet and he just looks like a big old tubby wubby wubby. So this is the H23EX Darius and we're not done with this mold. Let's move on. And the next one we have is H23M Darius. This is a G1 toy colors. And like I said, it'll include four pairs of hands, three faces, a gun, a matrix, and a chain with this one. So it looks a little more like, you know, the toy color, color version. Looks pretty good. I'm going to say this mold looks freaking awesome. I can't wait to get this one. I'm probably going to get all of them. But yeah, this is the H23M Darius. This is the G1 toy color version. And then up next, why not? We have another version of this Galvatron. It's clear version. Imagine that. This is H23T Darius. This is a clear plastic one. It includes four pairs of hands, three faces, a gun, a matrix, and chain and clear plastic. Man, that looks so lickable. Man, I can't wait for this thing, man. I definitely can't wait for the clear version. But yeah, this is H23T Darius, the clear Jolly Rancher Galvatron. Then up next with the same mold, but this is going to be a retool and everything's got a new head. Looks like a little cat, little kitty cat. This is their H23B uh, Harlander, and this is their Straxus. Uh, Strax is, uh, we got one in Chug. I know that we as a retool of an, another mold and everything. Uh, but this is their, you know, their Straxes and everything. It looks really good. Beautiful, beautiful metallic paint job. I love that blue. It's got some purple and red and everything. Looks really good. Transforms into the, you know, the cannon that uh, Galvatron does, but kind of a different nose cone, you know, a nice, uh, a gun and everything. Uh, but it comes with uh, three separate hands, comes with a little pickaxe. And I look like I, said, I love that head sculpt, man. It looks really like a feline, you know, cat thing going on. But this thing looks beautiful. So yeah, I can't wait to get this one. This is their H23B Harlander. This is their Straxus. And yeah, man, it looks pretty good. All right, we got one more, and then we're done with New Age Toys and their Gavatron mode. Now this is H24 Macchio. This is the shattered glass version of Megatron. And like I said, it's a heavy retool. It looks pretty good. Uh, you know, this is from the Botcon set. And um, yeah, looks really, I love that translucent blue. He's got, once again, the metallic, you know, paint job on there. Looks like he comes with uh, two sets of hands. And it looks really good. This is the shattered glass Megatron version. Uh, this is H24 Mac Chio. And I think so. Once again, another use of the mold and it looks freaking awesome i can't wait to get all of these my god so many so many galvatrons and megatrons everywhere good stuff man good stuff well all right folks that's all we have for legends news which was quite a bit and i'm excited so ex up next we got third party mp scale news and we got new uh cyber factory cf-01 this is their star scream and the you know kind of tetra jet from the bumblebee movie kind of thing and he has light up eyes all right that looks pretty good really nicely detailed i love the head sculpt and just the front and everything it's not showing a whole lot right now but 
it looks pretty good. I can't wait for this stuff. Um, Cyber Factory, no, nah, I think they're a new company. They're probably some other company that's just branched off or something, but yeah, they're giving us a Tetra Jet Starscream. This is Cyber Factory CF-01 with the uh, light up eyes. All right, good stuff, man. Then up next, we have some x Transbots MX-11 Lock. This is their Masterpiece Scale G1 Cup. It looks pretty good. I do have the Phoenix Toys one. I may check this one out. He comes with, I guess, two target masters. Uh, he comes with uh, three different face plates, a gun, and it looks like the uh, Sharktacon tail whip that he had in the movie and everything. Uh, good scale with a hot rod next to him and everything. I love the alt mode. looks really good. Uh, the bot mode looks clean and everything. I like that too. Uh, these are new color images of everything. So yeah, x Transbots is giving us a cup and looks pretty good. I may, I may check it out. So this is a MX-11 lock. This is cup from x Transbots. And we also got some new images from the Transformissions. This is their metallic version of their Minosaur. Uh, this was came out quite a, while, quite a while back, and now they got a new version with the metallic version. So if you like this uh, mold and everything, if you like these uh, Stunticons, uh, they're more a little stylized and everything, but now you got metallic paint on them. So there you go. This is a combined mold, and this is their metallic version of Transformations. Minosaur. All right. Also from X Transbots, it looks like we're getting a prosecutor. So they put out the Doctor Egg, which is the Quintesson, which I have him coming coming from uh, Agabus, and uh, so they showed us a little teaser of the prosecutor. It looks like it's in the soap dish mold, uh, just you know, really early prototype and everything. So that's pretty cool. We're gonna get a whole version. I'm sure they'll probably do. I think they showed us Sharktacons, didn't they? Uh, don't remember, but I think they may have showed us. But uh, eventually we'll get some Sharktacons from them as well. So. Pretty cool. So we're getting the Prosecutor from X Transbots. Neato Petito. All right, then up next we got some Toy World. This is TW-FS02 Hot Break. This is the World War II version of Hot Rod, which they're coming out with a bunch of these stuff. And I'm probably going to have to get this one because it probably comes with a Starscream uh, part that I need to uh, finish off the uh, Builder figure. Uh, but this is a uh, plan for the Studio Series scale. Uh, like I said, it's inspired by the World War II Transformer scene in the last night. Uh, it reveals a nice movie accurate hot rod in both modes packed with not only weapons but some great miniature furniture and original display so i guess it can go with the uh stuff coming with the barricade as well um you know so it looks pretty good it's a great uh companion for the tour world green hornet the, the bumblebee they put out which uh, they did several recolors of that and um, they'll probably do recolors of this one as well so yeah it looks pretty good like i said if it does come with one of the pieces from starscream i'll have to get this guy so toy world tw fs02 hot break this is their hot rod from world war ii uh their little series and everything all right then next we're moving on to uh fans hobby and it looks like we got some new images of their final uh, update production update of the full color sample of their naval commander this is the armada prime and looks really freaking awesome i can't wait for this thing it looks huge so you got molds of him you know and it's just regular optimus mode then you got the combined mode and you got the truck mode and mm, just looks really fun lots of fun so yeah this is the final stages of their uh, full color sample and hopefully it should be coming out soon probably around january or february of next year I don't know, hopefully soon, I don't, or maybe in December, who knows? But uh, this is, their, yeah, well, I'm sorry, it says it's going to be launched at the January, so yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. We're going to get it in January. So, yeah, Naval Commander MB-15, this is Armada Prime. Then also from Fans Hobby, we're getting some new updated prototypes of their MB-17 Armada Megatron. And man, he's got some 80s working women's shoulders. Mm, man, those looks really good. So you're about the same height as uh, Optimus Prime when he's combined. You know, he's really a bit taller than the just a regular one and everything. So looks really good. We see the bot mode and we also see some pictures of the uh, alt mode, which is a tank mode. And it looks, oh, can't wait for these two, man. They're going oh, to take up so much space on your shelf, but man... They look really good. Fantasy makes a really decent product. So, yeah, MB-17 Armada Megatron updated prototype picks. Mm -mm. Fans hobby. Yay. All right. Now we're moving on to some Minosaur, uh, you know, MP scale news. This is DX9. They finally finished their uh, combiner. They finally got releasing drag strip. I think he's coming out really soon. Uh, but yeah, this is the combined picks and looks pretty good. And, you know, got uh, some group shots of them in alt mode and in bot mode. And uh, yeah, like I said the combined looks really good as well. I didn't go in on the DX9. I got the X-Trans bots, which we'll talk about them in a second. 
and I'm going in on fans toys and hopefully they'll finish their uh, combiner as well but this is their DX9 one and uh, that's finally finished and yeah so that's awesome I'm glad that they're you know everybody's finishing their Minasaurs and I'll hopefully move on to something else uh, but yeah this is their uh, Minasaur from DX9 awesome it's awesome and finally x Transbot put up a pre-order for their trailer for their Minasaur and my gosh a lot of people there's some nerd tears man with the price which I think I'm gonna talk about that later on I'm just gonna show the pics and everything of this combined and uh, like I said we're finally getting the trailer it's been forever I can't remember golly it's been at least a year that we supposed to be getting that trailer so now I can finally form a uh, Minasaur and everything so yeah the price you know a lot of people are upset uh, but I, like I said, I may talk about that on something else or anything like that. But yeah, x Transbots finally giving us a trailer so we can form our Minasaur if, uh, you know, if you went in on these guys or anything like I did. So yay, so excited. Oh my gosh, it took forever. Well, all right, folks, that's all we have for third party news. Let's move on to official and let's go on to XM Studios Premium Collectible Soundwave Color Prototype Statue. And my God, this thing looks beautiful and expensive oh my gosh so you only get you know not only do you get soundwave but you get rumble frenzy uh then you get uh ravage laser beak and rat bat which is popping out of his chest which looks so freaking beautiful my god it is very stylized and a unique design uh but you can you know recognize it is sound wave and everything his minions and it, my gosh i mean the pose looks so good i mean it's just oh i wish i wish i can get this thing it looks so great but yeah if you're a big statue collector definitely definitely probably want to get this one because it looks beautiful so xm studios are giving us a sound wave uh kind of you know like i said a, a stylized version of him and everything so great job gosh great job and then another well not statue but an action figure uh three zero is giving us a bumblebee movie deluxe gold edition this is a little teaser image and uh once again i love some three zero i got this uh, bumblebee already and it's great uh, but now we're getting kind of like a gold version i guess gold bug if you want to call them that but looks you know pretty good it's gonna i'm sure it's gonna have metallic paint or something like that so our uh, gold finish and yeah i'm excited for this stuff man three zero whoo y'all got some good stuff anyway so yeah bumblebee movie this is the deluxe version this is the gold edition it's a little teaser image oh i love some teasers and then another transformer come up that doesn't transform this is flames toys this is a fiera model idw rodimus this is a color sample and once again uh, flames toys does make a great product i got some of their stuff and this is probably one of their little model kits uh, that you put together and yeah it looks pretty good this is idw rodimus so if you like that you know the comics and everything you know, you'll love this this is from the lost light comics and everything so looks really good uh the uh let's say the uh, pre-order will start around december 12th which is uh yesterday uh so if you want to pre-order this guy to uh build him up and uh look pretty good uh, have a little rodimus collection going on here you go flames toys this is the idw rodimus color samples all right we finally some, got something official that does transform this is the war for cybertron Burz, buzzworthy bumblebee two pack you get bumblebee and spike was revealed it looks pretty good you know i like the bumblebee the spike eh, doesn't even show his face it's got like a silver uh head thing like a cone head and all that stuff and basically just lays down and says kill me uh but the bumblebee looks pretty good um i don't it shows it is it, you know the war of cybertron i don't know if it's going to go with the kingdom stuff or you know anything like that it doesn't say kingdom but kind of got a backdrop uh of the you know kingdom kind of thing going on uh but yeah this is the war for cybertron buzzworthy bumblebee two pack and uh yeah pretty pretty cool i like the uh, i like the alt mode it looks pretty you know it's a different take on bumblebee so there you go bumblebee everywhere all right up next we got super seven transformer super cyborg soundway revealed and pre-orders are live uh this thing uh, stands about 11 inches tall uh removable plate that shows inner workings uh price about 75 dollars and due to ship out early 2021 so yeah if you're into the super seven stuff that doesn't transform here you go sound wave and you can see his guts all right good stuff and last but not least some more stuff that doesn't transform this is the rid line this is bumblebee and coronation starscream revealed so yay these are walmart exclusives and once again they don't transform uh highly articulated kind of i guess i've messed around with the sound wave and wasn't really that impressed uh but i'll definitely get the star train because it is star scream uh but these are walmart exclusives and uh it's going to be released uh next year so we got g1 bumblebee and coronation star scream revealed all right 
Well, all right, folks, that's all we have this week for news. And we had a lot of stuff, especially a lot of uh, new age uh, Galvatron and everything. But really excited, as always, to get some new Transformers. I'm you know, excited for the X-Transbots trailer. Uh, like I said, I will talk about that later, about the price and everything, which everybody's throwing a fit about. You know, we got some new uh, non-Transformers stuff. We got fans hobby. Uh, just tons of, you know, legends and everything. So just a really a lot of great stuff coming out. And I hope you're excited just like I am. Hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go there and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. And hit me up with some comments. Tell me what you're excited for. And I guess I'll see you on the next What's New in Transformers. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell Hasbro. And good night, folks.